Hi guys, this is Sadek from Dwarven.com and in this video, we'll show you how to update your iPhone on your Windows PC without using the iTunes. We will be using the newly launched Apple device app to get this job done. So please take a backup of all the data on your phone just to be on a safer side and then let's get started. First and foremost, you'll have to install the Apple device app from Microsoft Store. So go to this link and from here, you will have to click on download and it will ask you to open Microsoft Store. So open it and then click on install. It will take a few seconds to load. Once that happens, simply hit the install button and the app will now be downloaded and installed. It will take only a few seconds. So let's just wait for that to happen. And once the app has been installed, you will have to click on open or you could also click on launch button. After that, click on agree in the terms and condition. And with this, you will be taken to the welcome screen. So click on start. And as of now, you will now have to restart your PC. This restart is compulsory. So please do a restart. It's only for the first time usage. So let's now restart our PC and then we'll be back. So guys, we have now done a restart. So let's relaunch the Apple devices app. And now you will have to connect your iPhone to your PC. So let me do that as well. And if you are doing this for the first time, you will get a, a prompt on your phone regarding the trust of this PC. So you will get a prompt, trust this computer. Please make sure to select the trust option. You will only get this prompt for the first time. From the subsequent time, you will not get, get this prompt. So just tap on trust. And as soon as you do so, your phone will then be shown in the app. So let me show you as you could see, this is my phone being shown here. And as you could see, it's showing as a new update is available. As of now, I'm using the iOS 17.2.1 and there is a newer version of software update is available, which is version 17.3. So let's now move ahead and install this update. For that, hit the update button. But before that, it's highly recommended that you take a backup as well. You could choose either of the two backup option and then do a backup. In my case, I've already done the backup. So let's now do the update. So hit the update button. And after that, you will get one more prompt. So let's just wait. It might take a couple of seconds for the prompt to appear. So the app UI is somewhat slower as opposed to all the other apps. So as you could see, we have now got a prompt. So again, click on update and it will take a few seconds and bring up the change log. So we are getting the stolen device protection feature and the lock screen wallpapers, music and all these tweaks are there. You could also save this change log if you want. Anyway, let's now click on next. And after that, you will have to hit the agree button. It's the terms and condition. Click on agree. And once that is done, it will now contact the iPhone server and you will now have to type in your passcode on your iPhone. So let me do that. And once that is done, you will have to hit the continue button on the PC in the app and it will verify the passcode and then start downloading the software. It could take up to a few minutes. So let's just wait for the time frame. And as you could see, it's now going on. So let's just wait for that to happen and then we'll be back. So guys, once the download is done, it will then extract the software, which will take a couple of minutes. And after that, it will ask you if you want to encrypt the backup or not. So I will recommend you to encrypt the backup, but the choice is all sure. But as of now, I will choose encrypt backup. And now it will ask you to type in a password. Please make sure to remember this password. So let me type in the password and then I'll be back. And as soon as you have typed the password, you will, you will have to now enter your iPhone passcode. So let me do that as well. And as soon as you do so, you will get a prompt to trust this computer. So you will again have to type in your passcode. So let's get that, get that job done as well. And once you have done that, it will now start the backing up process of your iPhone and will take only a few seconds. So let's just wait for the time frame and then it will install start. Install. So let's just wait for the time frame and after that it will install the update as well. So guys, the backup is now complete and it's now making our phone ready for the software update. So let's just wait for a few more seconds and then it will start the update. So let's see how it goes and I will keep you posted for that as well. So it's currently making our phone ready for the update and it could take up to around 10 to 15 more seconds. 
So let's just wait for that to happen. And as soon as the installation starts, we will then wait for uh, the update to complete. So again, I'm repeating as you could see in my phone, it's now in the recovery mode and it will now start for the software upgrade and the process could take up to a few more seconds. So as of now, you don't have to interact with your phone. It will automatically get the job done. And as you could see, it's now in showing the Apple logo. So you will have to wait for a few more seconds and then the installation should start. So we will keep a tab on that as well. And please don't interact with your phone while the installation is going on. And you could see the progress bar as well. Let me focus it. And this is the progress bar. So the installation time might vary depending on the size of the update. So even though I'm doing an incremental update from 17.2.1 to 17.3, but still the size of the update was around 7 GB. So it could take a while for the update to get completed. So let's just wait for that time frame and then we'll be back. So guys, the update has been installed and it's now verifying the update package, which will take only a few, few seconds. So as far as the downloading and installation of the update was concerned, the installation process took around five to six minutes, which was quite fast. And now it will just verify the update package, which will, I guess, only take around 10 to 15 seconds. And once that happens, our phone should then boot into the OS. The newly updated OS will verify the same as well. So as of now, let's just wait for the verification to complete and it will take only a few more seconds. I have linked my guide in the description as well. You could refer to my guide for all these steps as well as the link for the app as well. You could carry out the entire job using this app and I have linked this guide in the description. You could refer to my guide and get all the job done. Anyways, let's verify the results. So as of now, it's verifying and around 65% has been done. Only a few more seconds are left and then we'll check out the result. I have also done a backup and that backup was encrypted. You have two options either to do a backup of the most important data on the iCloud or you could do a backup of all the data on your PC. So doing a backup of all the data on my PC will take quite a lot of time. So as of now, I have simply chosen the option to do a backup on the iCloud only of the most important data. Moreover, if it asks you, then please select the encrypt backup option. However, while doing so, please make sure to remember the password of the backup because if you don't remember that, then you will not be able to decrypt that data. So the encryption gives you more power and it's more secure, but please make sure to remember the password of that data as well. So the update process is now going on and the verification is done. It, it's now just a matter of time before our phone now boots up to the OS. So let's just wait for a few more seconds. So guys, you will now get a prompt that your iPhone has been updated and is restarting. Please leave you an iPhone connected. So once that happens, you just have to click on the OK button and your iPhone should now boot into the OS and it should boot to the latest installed OS. We'll verify the same as well. So let's just wait for the time frame. And as of now, I was installing the update version 17.3. So let's verify if I have been installed or not. Do keep in mind that the first boot up after installing the update might take up some time. This is completely normal. This will not happen from the next time onwards. This additional time frame for the boot up is just for the first time usage. So let's just wait for a phone to boot up. So guys, our phone has now booted to the OS. It's exactly in the same settings as before. For instance, I had the DND mode enabled beforehand and it's currently enabled as well. So let me unlock my phone just a minute. And let's now go to the settings menu. And from here, let's access the general section and then go to the software update. And from here, as you could see, it's the latest iOS 17.3. So guys, on that note, I round off this video. If you have any queries, do let me know in the comment section and thanks a lot for watching.